Hello and welcome back to the Experts 11 Road to Glory series where we are about to take on our third match of the season but first we have a new player on our team. John Petrucci was promoted from the academy however in order to keep the club financially healthy he has been placed on the transfer list. He ended up going for a startling 4 million econ. But in more relevant matters we have a game against the Republic of Mancunia today as our third league fixture. After opening games against Belfast City and Real Ale Madrid, two of the promotion favourites, we have a somewhat easier league fixture this time around, although Republic of Mancunia are by no means pushovers. They have a very strong defence in Hubert Terrian and Anka Gerdsuk, and the rest of the team isn't that bad either. In fact, their first team squad is about as strong as our first team squad. With all the other relegation candidates, facing teams towards the top of the table, this is a great chance to give us an advantage over the rest of our competition in the relegation battle. So, let's check up on the team lineups for this game. After two outings of Ant Connolly in net, Gio de Hoare is thankfully back for this important game. Our team is our first choice lineup with Gio de Hoare in goal, a back four of Gorga, Santa Maria, Van der Kreis and Delia, a midfield of Kanamasas, Kijakovsky, Kyola, Tilbay and Hargreaves and a front lone man with Moser up front. Republic of Mancunia are also playing a 4-5-1 formation with Riggio, their goalkeeper, 25 years old in goal, a back four of Jacobs, the defensive Colossus Terrian, Gerd Sirk and Aliman. A midfield of Piercy, Broadfoot, Busson, Jobak and Tesco and their front lone man Veselin Stanic, their best striker. Hubert Terrian and Anka Gerdsirk are their best players, however, you cannot rule out the likes of Veselin Stanic, Tommy Piercy, or Francislas Plesko. Nevertheless, that defence is going to be extremely difficult to break down, with every player at least 10 skill. No harm in trying though, let's go live to the supermassive black hole for the match. The captains for this game are Gavril Gorga and Hubert Terrian, and the referee for this game is Frank Redcard, which is a bit of a dangerous referee. Republic of Mancunia in the black strip, which is their chain strip due to a colour clash with Knights of Sidonia. Referee Frank Redcar gets the game underway as a banner is waved that looks like an annoying pop up from windows. Ten minutes in there's no goals so far. Mancunia's defence is proving extremely hard to break down. Twenty minutes in there's no goals despite that we're having better possession than Man Mancunia in the charts. We're a lob header for Sergio Canamasas! And he scores! Sergio Canamasas scores for Knights of Sidonia! for the first time in two seasons. And with Pim van der Kreese setting up the goal, you have to say our next generation is starting to come to fruition. We're coming up to half time now, it's going to be a very welcome lead for us. We're going to side finish up by Ronaldo Caiola, and he misses the goal. No matter, we are still leading 1-0, but as they say, a 1-0 lead is a dangerous lead. Still, the Republic haven't had any chances whatsoever, so that's always good for us, and we've dominated the possession, so Things are looking pretty favourable for us in this game. We're going to keep our strongest lineup on the pitch as we are a dangerous free kick as this second half gets underway. You know who, Gavril Gorga, to take this free kick straight on goal. And Riggio has saved it! Brilliant save by Riggio to deny Gavril Gorga from the free kick spot where he's most usually deadly. And now Republic of Mancunia have a chance with Weston and Stanich tries around the keeper. And thankfully, Gio de Hoare gets hold of the ball. He's been a monstrous keeper, only having conceded one goal so far, and that was to an admittedly superior team. We are over 60 minutes into this game, and it's still 1 0 to us. We have another chance here on the 65th minute. Hallam Tilbury's precise header! Not even close! We are living on the edge here slightly, but still in control. But Republic of Mancini have another chance. It's Stanich again, who tries to lob de Hoare. And it's said to be just over the crossbar. He was so unlucky. But that was very fortunate for us that he didn't score that goal. And we've got a card here in the 75th minute of this game or 74th, but Kelsey Bridge has been yellow card from attack on behind. And I can tell you there's a shock result on the cards in one of the other games at the moment. First a dangerous free kick as Gavril Gorga's free kick straight on goal is wide of the target. But yes, you might be able to notice that league table has Red FC on three points. And first we have a chance here with Kelsey Mosa. Easy save by Reggio. Yes, Red FC are actually currently beating Belfast City 1-0, which is an amazing result considering how strong Belfast City are compared to Red FC. But that is the end of the game. 
A job well done with more chances compared to the Republic of Mancunia's two and majority possession. With Gavril Gorga taking the Man of the Match award, with Hewitt Terrian taking the other Man of the Match award for the other team, I say that is a very good win and it is finally great to get our first win of the season. So we're off the mark and considering Republic of Mancunia I don't consider to be relegation rivals, this is a massive result for us and it was a needed result too what with Red FC's shock victory over Belfast City. This was down to a perfect tactical performance whereby we defended against Republic of Mancunia's attacking style, guessed their formation and although they didn't have any playmakers specifically to mark, we marked someone who we thought would be considered a threat. Combined with us being the home team, this all added up to make a dominating performance in front of our home fans, which is very welcome when we're chasing points to avoid relegation. So we're finally off the mark with a very healthy three points. Our season begins now. Team of the week time and you may see here what will prove to be a barrier in our chances of escaping relegation. The team of the week is Elvis Crusel of Red FC in goal. Back for Pasak Evra, Real El Madrid. Mimo Molio, Real El Madrid. Hubert Terrian, Republic of Mancunia. And Gavril Gorga, Knights of Sardinia. A midfielder Luke Bouchery, Real El Madrid. Ron Woodford, Real Peeps. Dirk Dilly, Real El Madrid. And Fad Sarzil, Belfast City. And a front two of Fabian Pere, Real Peeps. And Roman Escudero, Red FC. And the manager of the round is uh, me for our performance against the Republic of Mancunia, but that is very welcome for income at the end of the season, especially as I don't see us in the promotion picture. Our victory over the Republic of Mancunia lifts us level on points with them, but as you can also see, Red FC's shock 1-0 victory over Belfast City also moves them onto 3 points, however with a worse goal difference than us, they are still in the relegation zone. Deportivo's 5-0 defeat to Real Peeps drops them down to 7th from 5th place, while Pasigal prop up the table on 0 points after losing 3-0 to Real El Madrid. And that's it for this episode. Next episode we'll be playing FC Mup in the return leg of the cup. But for now, take care and see you next time.